August children were more prone to hyperactivity than September children. Researchers from Harvard Medical School conducted a large-scale study and found out which children are more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD, and also expressed concerns about overdiagnosis of the disorder. According to a new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, children born in August are more likely to be diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, than those born in September. Researchers also fear that in the case of this psychomotor disorder, overdiagnosis may occur. We believe that the relative age and relative immaturity of children born in August, regardless of the class in which they study, comment, they make them more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD, says Anupam Jenna, a physician and economist at Harvard Medical School. Jenna and his colleagues analyzed data from more than 407,000 children born between 2007 and 2009. In states that require a child to turn 5 before September 1 to start kindergarten, children born in August were diagnosed with ADHD 34% more often than children born nearly a year earlier in September. Literally immediately after the deadline. Among those born in August, 85.1 children out of 10,309 cases out of 36,319, were diagnosed with ADHD. While among September children, 63.6 .6 children out of 10,225 cases out of 35,353, were diagnosed with such a diagnosis. People with this syndrome usually experience symptoms such as inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity that interfere with their daily lives. In 2011, 11% of children in the U.S. between the ages of 4 and 17 were diagnosed with ADHD, much more common than in other countries. The difference in the frequency of diagnosis between states also indicates its overdiagnosis. For example, in Kentucky, the disorder was found in 19% of children between the ages of 4 and 17, and in West Virginia, 12%. Researchers draw attention to the fact that children grow up in different ways. Many children's problems, ranging from anxiety to anxiety in crowded classrooms, can be similar to ADHD. According to Jen and his colleagues, inattention and increased activity should not be reacted to so acutely in order to avoid overdiagnosis of the syndrome. Find us at